Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel, and you made it here. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. This is episode uh, 12, I believe. In the last episode, we tackled the Heroes competition over in Lohan, and we met a man named Lloyd, platinum-haired Lloyd, who was one hecka of a sur swordsman. Sur swordsman, my friends. Uh, he was crazy. Dart couldn't beat him. We also ran into a friend of ours, an old friend of Dart's named Hashel, uh, who has decided to join us as we go and rescue King Albert from the clutches of Frugal and the Empire over in Helena Prison, which is the plan for today. Today's stream is all going to be over there. Now, real quick, I want to go over some things that I did off stream. So, uh, off screen, I should say, geez, I'm so used to streaming over on twitch.tv slash missile online. You guys should go visit. Uh, I'm so used to it that I said, anyways, uh, so for Hashel here, you'll see that he has the beast fang equipped. That was actually the item that I was trying so hard to get from the lizard men, uh, over in the nest of dragons. I did eventually get it. It was for him. So now, you know, one other big thing that I did off stream, and I'm going to equip it right now onto Shayna. As I went and I got, you guys ready for this? The Legend Cask. This thing cost 10,000 gold. Uh, I showed it off at the end of the last video, but look at this, guys. I got it. Look, oh, this thing is one of the best. Actually, uh, let's be honest. It is the best uh, head equipment that you can get in the entire game. It's good head. There we go. We're good. Uh, so we're going to equip that on a Shayna. I'm actually going to keep Shayna in the party for quite some time. Just a little bit anyways. You'll also notice that Shayna's Dragoon level is actually already level 2 now. Meaning that she knows Moonlight and Star Children. Moonlight is a single uh, target heal. It will heal them for 100% of their health. Super, super good. And Star Children, which uh, is a 25% light damage attack to one enemy uh, or all enemies that you find on the field of battle. So it's pretty powerful, pretty good. She's pretty useful. She doesn't have additions. So the way that she works is essentially, I'm actually gonna look for an enemy while I explain this. Uh, essentially, she does one attack and it increases how much SP it gives her based on her Dragoon level. So at, at level one, Dragoon level one, it only gives her 35, level two, 50. You get the idea. All right, exactly the enemy that I wanted. This is double O parts. It stands for out of place artifacts. This is one of those unique monsters that only has four health, but you only do one damage to it per hit, and it is also incredibly hard to hit. Lucky for us, Dart was able to hit it. So the idea and strategy for this is no! He's gonna kill me and then run away. So eventually he will just do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit him once and then have somebody use the magic signet stone on him, and hopefully you'll be able to beat him before he does that and runs away. This is the best way to get gold right now. That's how I got my 10,000 gold. This is the best way to get gold. And you'll find it about right over on this pathway right here. Right by that dark volcano looking thing that's actually a castle. Eh, we'll be there later in the next episode. All right, let's try this again. The double O parts again, out of place artifacts, if you will. Uh, let's hope that he doesn't kill us. I, I hope we can, I think... Let's, let's hope for the best, huh? Maybe I'll get real lucky here. All right, we'll be able to get a magic signet stone off. Thank you to Shayna. What a champ. I don't know how, but he just took all three turns in one. But luckily for us, we are going to get him down with a clean Rod Typhoon. What up, guys? What up? So anyways, when you defeat this creature, you will go ahead and get 600 golds, no XP or anything like that, and a spirit potion, which is incredibly, incredibly useful, guys. That spirit potion is going to be how we are going to level up our dragoon forms very, very quickly. But I think I'll explain that uh, that spirit potion thing a little bit later, like as we progress through this video. So anyways, we want to continue all the way back down to hell in a prison. Now, you'll notice that we can actually head to other places. Uh, because that that whole area now just ended opened up we no longer have to go through the limestone cavern or anything we could just look at that isn't that awesome hell in a prison my friends let's go back to hell all right team here we go but this time we're dragoons we have a a, a lot of people with us we're a full party the first time we were here it was just dark going alone 
this time. Looks like we got in the exact same way we did last time. We are very... Oh, wait. Never mind. I thought we were in the car. The bridge is being raised. Let's go. Oh, Lavitz has got... Oh, damn, dude. You know, I guess when Lavitz has to save his king, he can suddenly do things he could never do before. I'm proud of him. Go! All right, let's go. You guys, this is so exciting. We are getting... Uh, uh, let's just say this... Oh, I'm so excited for this episode. <laughs> It'll be done soon. I am such a nice guy, aren't I? Letting you see the sun before you die? <laughs> Say something! But, but the order says leave him alive. Shut up! When the sun rises, this guy will be mine from that moment. Say something, huh? King. I don't have a means to speak with vulgar men. And you will be killed by that vulgar man. Well, at least you're not alone. Those guys from Bale will come after you soon. How, how villainous. What about the promise to not hurt people? I didn't know Dole had become so ruthless. We just want your body. I don't know the rest. <laughs> Intruders are here. They're coming this way, headed by Lavitz and a man in red armor. Lavitz. The head of the knights and the red one. <laughs> That's interesting. They might be the saving stars for you, but you won't have a chance to see them. Both the stars and you will be gone when the sun rises. <laughs> uh, that is a hard voice to do. <laughs> Fun, though. So it looks like Frugal has King Alberts kidnapped at the very top of this place. So you cannot choose anyone but Dart and Lavitz. They are they are permanent uh, fixtures of our party for this particular dungeon. Uh, and I'm not going to put Hashel quite in just yet. Uh, we're actually going to stick with Shayna. I know that's not like the best idea just because she doesn't do that much damage. She's, eh, she doesn't need the experience because she doesn't get additions or anything like that. But... We haven't really played with her in a very long time, so I think it would just be fun uh, to, to go with this. I do not, my friends, recommend using Shayna at all at this part, but that's okay. Who is it? I'm going to go ahead and fight some guards. But yeah, I just I just don't recommend using Shayna, guys. She's just not... Uh, she's just not good right now, unfortunately. She does a lot of magic, and we did equip her with the legendary cask, meaning she's a little brokenly strong, but... It's just not worth it. So we have uh, we have a Hel Hel Helena Warden and a Senior Warden. We're going to go ahead and hit this Senior Warden. Even though I'm horrible with Lavitz's additions. But luckily I was able to get that one. All right. Here's the big deal, though. The Senior Wardens, before they die, will always use a, uh, a big magic gushing magma attack. Uh, and we are going to make sure that this one, this particular one, never hits us with it. So... See, she's now getting 50 SP per battle. All right, come on, Dart. He's not going to be able to do, to do enough damage to kill the Senior Warden, I don't believe. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Magic Sig Stone, since we have infinite uses of it for the most part. We can go ahead and use it whenever we want. We're going to go ahead and use that on him right now. Lavitz is going to kill him on the next turn, and then you never even have to deal with his, uh, his, his thing that he uses to, to kill everybody. So... I just figured that I'd show this little strategy because we'll be employing it throughout our time here in hell, Lena Prison. Perfect. And we can take him down. So the thing that I was saying, a spirit potion will always give you 50 SP. You need to gather SP to gain your Dragoon levels. There's uh, a certain amount. So for level two, for instance, you need a thousand uh, SP. For level three, you need about 3,000 uh sp and it just grows exponentially i think it's six for level four and twelve thousand or so uh or twelve thousand for level four and twenty thousand for level five so uh getting sp is a really big deal i'm actually not going to use the sp potion or the spirit potion ah it's so hard to get that third one if they try to counter on that third one i can't do it um but it seems like a good no she's not gonna use it hang on Let's just see if this will finish him off. I was going to use it, but she'll just get a flat 50 from that. Might as well. Might as well go with the 50 and not use the item. They will 
never be able to get to the top floor alive. Gwaa! The top floor, you say? Interesting. So it sounds like that's where we need to head, which we kind of already have knew, knew that. But if we go through this door right over here, we'll find that merchant again. It's you again, making noise like that? Oh, jeez, I hope no one heard. Oh, did anybody? Oh, hey, call me again if you want something, okay? I'll sell to you. I'll sell to you, big guy. I'll sell to you long time. All right, so if we go oh, if we go and talk to this merchant, we could buy stuff from him, including uh, some healing potions, which you might need, some sun rhapsodies, angel's prayer, mind purifier, midnight terror, which frightens minor enemies. We don't need to worry about that. And thunderbolt, which is a thunder-based attack for all. Uh, thunder it does not is only weak to thunder. It's not weak to... It's just don't use thunder. Is what I mean, thunder's fine, doesn't have a we it's just we don't need Thunderbolt right now, is what I'm saying. And we save, so we're looking good. What's over in this way? So pretty much all the items that we have uh received before are 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 still empty. So you you can't get any of those. But what we can do is go oh, go back through this way. Back past the merchant. Don't forget that that merchant's there. You might very well need the item. So we'll just run past that guard. And we'll continue all the way this way. Remember, there's no random encounters. It's just uh, the people that you can see wandering the map. So let's go ahead and use this lift. Do, 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 do. Which will bring us all the way up to this thing, which we can get off here. For whatever reason, I wasn't thinking, and I thought that I could uh, go downstairs, and it would just bring us to where we see those four rooms in a row. But no, we want to get off here, and we're going to run oh, into the room. I got lost on the... And that will bring us down here. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to do. So you can actually go this way, if you so choose. Uh, but we're actually going to go this one. Uh, yeah, let's go into this one right now. This is uh, going to lead us to some items that are actually pretty useful. Right here, we can get... We saw this, actually, on the previous screen, right above the where the merchant was by. We can grab a felt hat, which is a de pretty decent equipment. And then we'll keep following this path, which will lead us all the way out here. Remember, we couldn't get here before in the, pre the previous time because that lift that we used to get up here was broken. So we want to head up here. And finally, we can get this chest that we tried to get forever. And that, my friends, is a therapy ring. So why don't we look at those, uh, the equipment that we just received. Just so I can I can show you guys what it does. So uh, we are not able to see the headpiece that we just picked up, the felt hat. Uh, I believe it is just for the ladies in the chat um, or in the party in the chat. Hello. Uh, but we did get a therapy ring, which recovers HP each turn. It is very, very strong. Uh, so here's the felt hat. We actually have two of them now. Uh, it, you know, it, it just so happens that the legend cask is actually better. I know. I know, I know, that's crazy, right? But yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, so so don't worry, don't worry about that. Any, Just hold on to the therapy ring. You're gonna need it. All right, so let's go back and backtrack to where we were. Now we want to head this way and go to this door. Since we're back on this map, we want to go to this door right here, which will bring us down to here. And we're gonna go all the way up the lift. Again, this is just going to lead us to uh, items and stuff like that we, that we can get uh, for the first time ever, which will lead us right out here, and we can grab a Thunderbolt. Good thing we didn't go buy one earlier, because you can get one for free right there. So, don't use the lift. We can actually go right here and use this rope, which will lower for us, and we can go ahead right on this, like, claw thing, this etched claw. We can get a silver embroidered vest. Pretty cool for us. Actually, you know what? If we look at that silver embroidered vest, we could actually go ahead and put that on uh, Shayna right now if we wanted to, uh, which wouldn't be a, a terrible idea, except for the fact that she already has. Um, well, I guess it's a little bit better. The angel, the thing is, is the angel robe revives from death with a given probability, which is actually pretty good if she's ever just killed. But with the silver vest equipped and the legend cask, I just don't think that that effect is going to be that useful. Now, you could, of course, also give her the therapy ring, which we are going to do, which is just going to allow her to survive longer, uh, which will m make it so that we can actually, you know, uh, uh, heal our other party members. So anyways, we can use that rope, which will lead us back down here and then just go back and we'll come back down here. And then we'll use this door that is the furthest to the left over here, which will bring us right out and we can use this new lift here. See, it's a little confusing. It's kind of like a little puzzle. But it's fun. 
then we can go through this doorway which will lead us up here into the mouth of the engraving which we will receive a pandemonium which is a item that we can use and now finally we want to head back down the lift we got all the items that we can get over here for now and we can use this door and all the way back up here and then we're going to use the ladder that's on the side that's been sitting here waiting for us <laughs> it's just been sitting there the whole time you gotta you gotta use it you know what i mean that that poor ladder and through here which will bring us to the last item that we can get which is leather armor which uh if i'm not mistaken isn't that good <laughs> considering that we have well moved past leather armor uh yeah there's no real reason to use it i don't know why they give you a leather armor right there but that's okay so now we want to head back to the lift and we're going to use it to go upstairs finally since that's the only other way we can go we explored this whole cliff face thing that that's happening here uh and we'll just choose to go upstairs get ready my friends get ready we have a big old boss fight coming up my friends kind of a spoiler but you know it's okay so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that dart has his volcano edition equipped uh and then everybody else is kind of fine here something else that you could do is the panic guard you could go ahead and equip that on either dart or lavitz just to make sure that none of them uh get scarred uh right there we could pick up a healing potion you'll actually remember this bridge from i like the second episode or third episode that we ever did of legend of dragoon uh where frugal like knocked a dude off anyways thought that i'd thought that i'd that point that out and then we want to head down here get ready my friends Ooh! oh no dude i knew it was going to be an ambush i knew it thank you for coming all the way here an ambush huh take us to king albert or it'll be your last breath hmm brave brave you still don't know who you are and where you are i don't want to have a needless battle shut up and get out of our way we know how strong you are but it doesn't make any difference because you are still just feed shoot the old stand on the trap trick <laughs> how they didn't notice that they were standing on a grate that was gonna like come on Ooh. what did they mean by feed though everybody all right i'm fine hmm. this is not even a problem it's it's not are you sure sandora is such a coward making a trap like that without fighting well it is one way to fight it's our own fault for being trapped you are harsh that's true right here we can grab oh come on let's go ahead and grab that item which is going to be a sachet we are going to oh, trust me that is super super useful there are very few of them in the game please 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 hold on to that you're gonna need it uh let's talk to rose i feel something is wrong you think we have to go to save king albert as soon as possible hmm hashel what do you think hmm nothing okay what a what about you Shayna? i feel a draft from the gap from from this gap it's true the draft is coming from here then if we move the rock there should be a way out guys we figured out this trap so it seems we have to welcome unwanted guests before that well we are supposed to be feed we have everything we need all right let's be feed coming all right guys here we go a boss fight a very very difficult boss fight against a very hungry beast Django my friends Django earth elemental we're about to fate look at how beautiful he is oh my god uh he looks like bean this is Django if we put him to sleep we can beat him easily he is the legend of Helena prison let me just tell you so that was her you actually just saw uh Shayna's beautiful beautiful um uh 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 come on brain her therapy ring just kick into effect there so right off the bat my friends we are going to go with spinning gale because Django is earth elemental with 1250 health so uh luckily for us Shayna is amazing with magic so she will use this and hopefully be able to do a lot of damage against Mr. Django here as long as I don't screw up the thing which I did 
142 and still hit him for 218, which is not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. Don't forget, my friends, Lavitz is also a wind elemental here in this fight and can do a tremendous amount of damage with his stuff. So why don't we go ahead and pop special right now? Now, that Satchet that you did get, I don't even, I don't even want to risk telling you this because I feel like you're going to use it and you shouldn't, viewer, okay? That Satchet will actually put Django to sleep for a few turns uh, and you can use magic still on him. Don't do it, guys. Just don't do it. You need that item for something way later. Just don't use it. So we are going to hit him with Wing Blaster. We're going to go ahead and see how much damage this will do to, to little old Django here. Wing Blaster, baby. Magic is just super, super effective in this game. Way more so than melee, at least for a little while. So that only did 132 damage. Uh, I'm actually going to try to see on his next one if I can do maybe a little bit more. Uh, but with Dart, we're going to go ahead and use Final Burst here. Just because it's 75% damage instead of the 25%. It's, it's a pretty powerful spell. Especially against a single target. Look at how beautiful. I love this attack, guys. So good. Ah. Oh. Oh, I love it. Let's see how much damage it got, does. A hundred and ninety-eight. Not awful darts. Not awful. Not great. Not awful. All right, but now we have Shayna. So this is the one that I really wanted to show you guys, and that is Moonlight. This will uh, heal Shayna up entirely. She'll be at full health just from this one little spell, which costs 10 MP. This is what makes Shayna very, very strong, but really only in Dragoon form. And it's also, to me, very interesting that all of her abilities use the moon. Hmm. Now, if you were able to get Lavitz's Gaspless magic, uh, that is very, very strong. Uh, very strong. I'm actually going to go ahead with Blossom Storm here just to make sure that we uh, reduce all of the damage for the next three turns by 50%. It's actually very, very strong. One of the strongest abilities for any Dragoon to use. This thing is a huge deal for strategies later on in the game. And honestly, I don't think we've seen it yet. Look at that. And the special's gonna go away, which is fine. Which is fine. So everybody right now for the next three turns takes 50% less damage. Now it is worth mentioning that the legend cask that I put on Shayna reduces magic damage and not physical. So she is still gonna take a lot of physical damage from Django here, uh, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. She is actually going to hit him with uh, star children, just so I can show you that ability. We are losing a lot of damage by Shayna also being a Dragoon right now. Perhaps a special wouldn't have been the best thing to do. But that's okay. The sound effects for this spell. It's beautiful, man. I love it. So pretty. Only 106 damage. And my controller's low. Oh, no. God, don't you hate when that comes up when you're recording something? Jeez Louise. Anyways, that will take her out of her her form. She can no longer use it, but we still have dart. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Him attacking her physically is not good. 48 damage. Oh, because we have the uh, the blossom still available to us. So, so that's why that did so little damage. Let's hit him again with a final burst. So for a lot of people, this fight is considered to be one of the hardest boss fights that we've done so far, especially if you don't have the right team for it. But I do think that using Shayna is good for us because she'll also get a lot of experience from this fight and maybe that'll help her catch up just a little bit to the rest of the party.
Of course, everybody else is probably going to hit level 14 from this, and she's only going to hit level 10. Uh, but maybe we'll get lucky and she'll hit maybe, uh, level 11 or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see. All right. So now we have uh, Lavitz's turn. So let's see if Lavitz can go ahead and do some damage here to Django, even though I'm so bad. I'm so bad with his additions. Luckily, he's going to hit Lavitz and not Shayna because she's getting a little bit low in health. We're going to actually use Shayna to just cast magic from here. And don't forget, she does have the therapy ring. So that does that does help us quite a bit here. Now we're going to spam and hope that Spinning Gale is able to do some serial, serial damage here, guys. A hundred and ninety-eight percent for three hundred and four damage to Django. That, my friends, is the power. The power of Spinning Gale on Django. Oh, man, that delay, though. Well, two hits from Dart. That's fine. Let's get him out of that form anyways, because I really, really would like him to use some magic attacks instead. And honestly, I think Volcano is probably going to do more damage just because it has such a high modifier on the additions. All right, who's he going to attack? Everybody. This might kill Shayna. Oh, very close. Very close, but no cigar. All right, let's see if I can go ahead and get a nice Rod Typhoon out here. Nope, of course not, because I'm me. I swear, I can do it when it doesn't matter. He's on the red, though, so we almost have this. I think one more Spinning Gale from Shayna will end this fight, guys. And here it is, Spinning Gale out of Shayna in the red. Say goodbye to one of the harder boss fights in the whole game. Django. On chains. Especially when you can hit him for 206%. Oh, 317. There we go. The end of Django. Nice job, Shayna. Nice job. So that is why you bring Shayna here, my friends, is because she will absolutely wreck him. And we got a Satchet. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And 100 gold, which who cares? Look at that 2,000 experience, though. Let's see how much that actually gives Shayna. Yep. I mean, she's relatively close to level 11. Nobody else leveled up, though. That's sad. That's sad. We made it. We made it. There is no enemy in front of us. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Look at that. The monster fell and the rock collapsed. How handy is that for us, huh? Let's go. Hmm. Shayna, is, is something wrong? Men can have a great friendship. It's about Dart and Lavitz, isn't it? They understand each other without a word. Man and woman cannot be like that. I envy them a little bit. Yes, they can. What about with Dart? I still don't know yet. He seems to have been thinking of me as his sister. Jaina, is anything wrong? No, nothing. I'm coming. Scurry. Very, very scurry. All right. So now we are out. We can actually go back in here if you want. There's nothing There's nothing actually in here whatsoever. Uh, but you can go back in if you want to look around. And maybe you didn't grab that chest before you defeated Django. But now we have two Satchets, uh, which is very, very good for us. Now we have to beat all of these guards. We absolutely have to. This is also a really, really good time, guys, uh, to level your, uh, to level Lavitz up. I just, I really, really, really recommend leveling Lavitz up, getting as much additions as you possibly can on him. I promise you, uh, you won't regret it. So if you do end up spending the time, wait until you get to a save point and just, just, just think about it. You know, just, just think about it a little bit. So let's go ahead and hit this senior ward and put in some damage. Actually, I'm just going to skip this fight. No reason to show it, right? One guard defeated. Let's continue and face them all, baby. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna skip these fights. Well, I guess... I guess I shouldn't because they're mandatory. You have to... You have to do these. So, yeah, I guess I won't skip this one. It doesn't totally matter because you guys know how I'm gonna defeat him. All right, we've cleared those two. And right here, we can grab another healing potion that might actually be useful right now because everybody's a little bit low <laughs> just just a little bit actually in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a healing breeze instead uh just so that we can get everybody up just a little bit all right let's proceed through this door
Ooh. Oh, no. Hi. It cannot be. How are they still alive? No way they beat that monster. Oh, I did. No. No, we won't let them go any further. Oh. Oh, but you will. Because I... Well, I will. We got two minor guards here. Why don't we just stick around so we can we can knock these guys out real quick? What do you think, guys? What do you think? All right. Come on, Dart. Nice, nice thick volcano to the face here. Get rid of these guys. We defeated those two like they were chumps, baby. Chumps. <laughs> that guy's like, no, nah, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to run away. So we've actually been here before. You might remember. Uh, and we have a few different ways that we can go. So we can actually head out uh, this way, which is where we can restock up on items if we so chose. Uh, up here is where if you if you go up this way, that's actually where we went and found the key the first time we were here. Everybody was talking and didn't notice us. Well, let's go up here real quick. Looks like we have some more guys to fight here. Ah, we have some new enemies here that we have never actually fought before in this area, and that is Foul Fighters, uh, which are literally, uh, well, they're, they're, they're chickens, but they can die pretty easily in one, one nice addition, if you can nail it, from Lavitz. Again, I really do recommend using Lavitz as much as possible here, uh, and, and, and trying to see all of his additions, uh, for fun, you know? See if you can do it. Oh my god, I'm so bad. All right, let's see if Shayna can finish off this a foul fighter here. And one into the Helena Warden. Ah, oh, that is so hard for me to do. I, I really do struggle with Lavitz's uh, addition system. Wait until, wait until you see Hashel's. I am horrible with Hashel's. His feel really weird though. His timings for his additions are very, very different than anybody else's. Beautiful guys, beautiful. So there is actually one more thing that I wanna check real quick before we actually continue up these stairs. There is something that I just, I just wanna check. So let's head back out down here real quick. Because there are now guards here, but we can also go this way. Which you'll remember from the first time that we were actually here in Helena, this in, this entire area. You can't actually go down because you can't call the lift, uh, but you can head into the tower where I believe we actually found Shayna for the first time. That So this whole place does exist. So if you missed any items for whatever reason, uh, you can actually get them now. I just thought I would point that out. It's kind of cool that it's still there. Uh, but the really good thing about right now is trying to beat up some of these, uh, trying to beat up some of these guards, try to train up a little bit because we have a very, very tough series of battles coming up. And it's also useful because we have the, uh, if we come this way, we can actually just go back down to the merchant and talk to him and go buy stuff. So we have, we have full access, uh, to the entirety of Helena prison right now. And once you're satisfied with your additions and leveling and whatever else against these guards that you might feel you are, I just want to point out that I have been practicing the gust of wind dance and oh my God, it's just so hard. I can bear, I can't do it. I can't, I can do it. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep gust of wind dance out just to show you guys, but it is so hard to do. Oh my God. Normally I'd go back to rod typhoon and max it out, but I really, really want to show you. I really, really want to show you Gus of Wind Dance because it's really good. All right, so let's let's proceed forward. Uh, Shayna, by the way, is about to hit level 11. She's very, very close, uh, which is one of the reasons why I was out here doing what I was doing was so that I could hit level 11 on our final battle on the stairs. And Shayna finally hit level 11. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. 
we are approaching the end of Helena Prison, my friends. So if you have any uh, changes to your party that you want to make or make sure anybody's equipped with anything, and, and for, 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 now is the time. We are getting to the very top. In fact, we're on the top right now. 20G out of that chest, a spear right there, and a broadsword out of that. All stuff that we will never use. Now, I've saved, and I hope you guys are ready for the strategy that I'm about to do on this boss uh, that we have standing before us, because by golly, is it a fun one. So as soon as you're ready and you've saved, let's head forward to rescue King Albert. The sun is rising. <laughs> it's good for you. You die and the war ends. That was your wish, wasn't it? You want to end the war, don't you? I'll make your dream come true very soon. <laughs> uh, uh, I am vexed. It's unfortunate for Lord Duel, but I can't wait for the one with the silver hair. What? I just want to kill you so badly. When I see the smallest glimpse of the sun, I'll cut your head off for it. Oh! Nice, Shayna, King Albert. Shayna being the first one to attack Frugal. I won't forgive you. Ah, those rats came on time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll get you all before Albert. All right, guys, so we have our second and final battle against the one and only Mr. Frugal, the warden here. He is going to be not alone this time, my friends. He is not alone this time. He comes with Guftus and Rodriguez. And guess what we are going to do, my friends? You remember those total vanishings we've been holding on this whole time? Why don't we go ahead and throw that at Guftus there? Guftus has 560 health, dark type. Oh, he's gone. Interesting. Guftus can cast confusion on us, and that's something we don't want. So why don't we go ahead and get rid of Rodriguez as well, who is a wind element, 400 health. Oh, and he's gone. Frugal is alone, my friends, with 1,000 health and a earth elemental. So that means that those gales that we got earlier, we're going to be using them on old Frugal here. Which is very, very good for us. Of course, that's why I brought Shayna's, just because her magic damage is so, so good here. So let's just go ahead and pop some... Uh, oh, am I out of Spinning Gale? No, I still have one more. Let's go ahead and see what Spinning Gale does. Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. I don't know why Wind does so much damage to, to Earth, but you know what? I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna fight it. It's totally fine. 164%, 316 damage to the only 1,000 Frugal. All right, guys, you ready to see how bad I am at the Gust of Wind Dance? Here we go. So, oh, come on, I'm better than that. And he will power himself up. I believe he did this the first time that we fought him as well. He always powers up. That's fine. Uh, so we're actually gonna go and use a Spear Frost now out of uh, out of our dear little Shayna. Now this is actually gonna do a lot of damage too, but mostly because for Spear Frost is just really, really good. 196%, 125 damage. Not as much as I would like, but still better than nothing. I'm not even going to use my Dragoon special here, guys, because I just don't think we need it. That's what's crazy. I just don't think we need it against Frugal. I came prepared. All right, let's try this again, team. Oh, too early on that last one. Uh, that one's hard, guys. I'm telling you, Gustin Wind Dance is hard. All right, what else do we got that we can use now? Uh, why don't we go and hit... Why don't we use Dark Mist? Let's go ahead and use Dark Mist. Uh, again, it's not gonna... It's not, uh, uh any elemental damage or, uh, a special effect or anything like that, but... Any magic that we can use against him is still gonna hurt him. 102 damage. Shayna, our MVP this time, guys. Of course, uh, Dart gets a boulder to the face for 146 damage, which is quite a lot. Luckily, that didn't hit Shayna. Now, I'd really rather Dart not finish off Frugal, but you never know. Only 46 damage out of Dart. I don't know if that's enough to end the fight. Let's see if Mr. Lavatier can be the one to end Frugal. Probably not with a measly 38 damage. I'm actually just going to go ahead and hit with a bow. Do not... Please be not enough damage. Okay, good. Woo, that would have been bad. Another 146 damage on Dart. 
Frugal really does not want Dart sitting around. All right, come on. Come on, Lavitz. Oh my God, I messed that up so bad. All right, come on, Lavitz. Let's do this. Let's finish him off. Oh, almost with a full gust of wind dance. Almost. Oh, come on, Lavitz. Yeah. Right into the belly button of Frugal. Frugal goes down. All because of Lavitz being awesome. And we did not even have to use our Dragoon form. Nice job, everybody. Ugh. What? I knew it was here. Moon Jim. Moon Jim. Look at that mid jump turns into a dragoon to rescue his king. Wait, what is that? Yeah, Lavitz, show him what's up. Lavitz. The sword. No way! Lloyd! Lavitz! Oh no, dude! Lavitz, hang on! Hey! Is His Majesty Albert all right? Yes. Yes. I see. I can entrust you with everything. Lavitz. Dart. Survive. And. Lavitz. Thank you. Lavitz! <laughs>